Using a simulated knee with a medial bucket handle tear of the me uh, meniscus, a diagnostic scope is inserted in the medial side and a nerve hook is inserted through a lateral puncture. Diagrammatically, we see the bucket handle tear with the nerve hook around it. Nerve hook probes uh, the tear and defines its limits. An arthroscopic view demonstrates the medial femoral condyle superiorly. The bucket handle portion of the medial meniscus is evident. Uh, the remaining meniscus is also evident. Probe pulls on the meniscus and displaces it or replaces it. A five millimeter hook scissors replaces the nerve hook and uh, is inserted through the lateral puncture wound. The diagnostic scope remains in the medial joint. Diagrammatically, the five millimeter hook scissors uh, comes across to the anterior portion of the medial meniscus. We now see an arthroscopic view with the scissors in place to amputate the anterior portion of the medial meniscus. It is important to have a good view here. Next day, Johnson Jaws is inserted through the lateral uh, portal. The diagnostic scope remains in the medial joint. The Johnson Jaws is used to retract the horn laterally. As this is firmly grasped, a towel clip uh, on the handles keeps it uh, in place. Next day, Wolf arthroscope, operating arthroscope, is uh, utilized in the medial joint. The uh, lateral joint has the Johnson jaws uh, grasping the meniscus and now a three millimeter hook scissors is inserted through the channel of the operating arthroscope. As the uh, scissor goes in and then detaches the posterior horn of the uh, bucket handle fragment. Constant tension needs to be kept on the Johnson jaws retracting the uh, meniscal fragment. You now see the three millimeter hook scissors directly viewed through the operating arthroscope. Notice that these on occasion need to be angled and the meniscus is then uh, amputated we're about ready to amputate the distal fragment Uh, occasionally only a small fragment is uh, left back there. We now see a uh, free piece of uh, meniscus uh, within the joint which is attached to the uh, Johnson jaws. 
This is then uh, slowly removed and taken out percutaneously um, through the uh, lateral side. The operating arthroscope is then replaced by the diagnostic scope. The nerve hook is utilized to probe the remaining meniscus to be sure there is no loose fragments. To trim any loose material, a five millimeter basket forceps is inserted through the lateral portal. This has a large biting surface and can remove and uh, actually resect large portions of meniscus at a time. This is demonstrated in this view with removing a segment of the posterior horn. Here we see an arthroscopic view of uh, the nerve hook probing an anterior portion of the uh, meniscus which is remaining. This is frequently a problem and is uh, difficult to uh, get to with an instrument. And uh, when those difficulties are encountered, the chondroplastic shaver is an uh, excellent tool to help us uh, reach this area uh, easily. Chondroplastic shaver has the ability to get all loose fragments as well as uh, the edges of the meniscus that are, are rough and will cause uh, difficulty in the patient. This is a simulated view, and the chondroplastic shaver does have good mobility about the joint and uh, may take off any loose edges that are present. We think of uh, this uh, mechanism as an ability to be able to vacuum the joint. A a uh, final check to be sure there are no loose pieces uh, or fragments which will pop or catch in the joint is uh, done. 